And today's guest chef is Bill Terrell. Bill, a graduate of New England Culinary Institute, he started cooking at a very early age. He worked in London, did a couple of stages, one at the Savoy, and then five years at the Goring Hotel. And now he's at Kate's Italian Garden Restaurant in Bolton Landing, that's Kate's with a C. Welcome. Welcome, Bill. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for coming over. Your challenge today, the culinary challenge, is to create three dishes. One dish being a bruschetta or your rendition of a bruschetta. It's key that you take it up a couple of notches. In addition to that, I also want you to work with some fresh pasta. So I want you to surprise me in that arena as well. Okay. Got to have an antipasto. An antipasto. So put an antipasto together. I want to see some bruschetta as well as a fresh pasta. Are you up for this challenge? Yeah, I think I can do it. Let's see what we do. Let me show you the ingredients. And the secret ingredient, a 12 inch par-baked pizza shell from Roselli, 99% cooked. Good luck. So it looks like Bill is creating some type of a marinade. He's got herbs, extra virgin olive oil, and garlic and shallots in there. He's got the pork cutlet. It's a stockyards product, premium pork. So it's been jacarded and the fat is actually inside the pork. Melts in your mouth. Now he's cutting up some baguette, French baguette. Key to that is a good brochette is made with a nice crunchy, chewy crostini. It's gonna, again, add some extra virgin olive oil to that and seasonings. Now he's got some fire roasted red peppers, a little pinch of shallot, and a little garlic, of course, the magic ingredient. The roasted red pepper is a Bellagio brand, labeled US, exclusive to US Food Service. Fire roasted Spanish red peppers, very, very top quality, import product. He has an affinity for rectangle plates. So now Chef's using some uh, spring mix. There are 11 different lettuces in our spring mix. Lola Rosa's, there is arugula, there's tetsoi. You're also gonna find red oak, green oak, a little frise, baby spinach, baby romaine. Oh, that looks good. Again, this is healthy eating at its best. This is how the Mediterranean diet has so many people over 100 centurions. He's also grilling off a chorizo sausage. That is an El Pasado chorizo. Uh, pork, a little spicy. It's got a little heat to it. Um, very big this, for uh, Spanish cuisines, but certainly um, fits beautifully with this antipasti.
And he's got the pork cutlet on the flame. Married with the garlic, herbs, extra virgin olive oil. He split the chorizo and he's grilling that to save time. I like it, I like it. Okay, now he's breaking out the fresh pasta sheets. That's a roselli pasta sheets uh, made with durum wheat, egg, and flour. Simple recipe. Obviously with a fresh pasta, you're saving yourself about eight minutes on the preparation time. <laughs> so, couldn't be better timing. And that chicken stock he made was made with Herbox. It's a, a sodium-free chicken stock. So, almost like bouillon, but it has little to no, sh no salt at all. He's got a nice char on all those vegetables. That looks delicious. The little herbs, a little garlic. Throwing some of that fire-roasted pepper again for color. Chef, you've got a minute and 30 seconds. Nice job, Bill. Thanks, Chef. I looked at uh, and watched you just rocking out all these different ingredients. You had a mise en place list that was larger than most. And when I look at what you ended up with as far as the bruschetta, the antipasti, and that pork dish, it just shows me that the, the understanding of the task, the culinary challenge itself, being Mediterranean, you hit it right out of the ballpark. Well, thank you. The question is, how does it taste? I'll give it a shot. I'm really intrigued by this fresh grilled bruschetta with the lemon zest and the calamon olives. What were you thinking when you put this together? Well, I was thinking, you know, I wanted a nice tapenade, but I just wanted to do a little bit of something different. And so I threw really, you know, just at the last minute, just off the cuff, threw the uh, lemon peel in there and figured, you know, hope that it would work. And I kind of have a feeling that it would. Mouthfeel, the bruschetta itself, it has a really fresh, with a nice crispy on the outside. I like that a lot. The lemon zest, the olives, they work. Right. That olive oil pairs the two together. Beautiful. Again, I want to sample this. This is the fire roasted red pepper. Very uh, simple. Again, shallots, garlic, very simple. Mm -hmm. Look how fresh that is. It pulls right apart. Perfect. And of course the tomato and basil with that little, yep. um, with that balsamic gloss. Again, these are classic flavors. That needs to be on everyone's menu. This is how people are eating. Mm. Sweet, but also tart. Nice job. Thank you. Now the antipasti. This had me going because you've you got a chorizo on here, which is typically a Spanish origin, and then you threw on the apples. The smoky, that smoky heat coming out of the sausage, and this sweet crunch from the apple, this pairing is perfect. 
Now this pork looks like it's cooked to perfection here. This will not be easy to eat either. No. <laughs> well, food is never easy to eat, but it's always worth the effort. Man, this is well done. Thank you, Chef. Awesome job. Thank Thanks, Chef much. Bill. Excellent.